Hey y'all, I am back on my bullshit. I found gold today. Alright, so Faith McKay wrote this article 11 months ago, and I'm sure that she um, is eating crow right now. Amber Heard is getting more screen time in Aquaman 2. Here's why. For a while there, it felt like hardly a day went by without updates from behind the scenes on Aquaman 2. A petition spread online where fans demanded Amber Heard be fired from her role as Mara. Oh, so there was a petition before the one that we have now. <laughs> wow, that's even more embarrassing for Faith. Updates from insiders claimed many different ideas were discussed for how to handle the situation moving forward, including adjustments to the script. Many of these rumors claimed that while the actress was not being replaced, she would be getting less screen time in the anticipated DC sequel. Now, insider Daniel Richman, okay, I'm sure he sound, I'm sure that uh, <laughs> that he feels like an idiot now too, has shared with his Patreon page that the studio feels the air has cleared surrounding the actress, and Amber Heard will be getting more screen time in Aquaman 2. <laughs> It gets better. It gets better. Previously, Richmond has shared that the sequel has a girl power focus. <laughs> well, I mean, she she has definitely proven she is powerful. She cut off someone's effing finger. <laughs> I don't think that's the kind of girl power they wanted, though. With more female leads joining the cast for Aquaman 2, other insiders have supported this claim. Grace Randolph tweeted months ago. Oh, it was? Okay. All right. This is great. This is great. Okay. We're going to come to Grace later. That the other female characters were meant to draw some attention away from Amber Heard and ensure she had fewer lines in the sequel. However, this new rumor from Daniel Richmond directly addresses that, saying that because audiences are no longer so angry with the actress, bro, just wait 11 months, Warner Brothers feels comfortable giving Amber Heard more screen time in Aquaman 2, even if with more female characters in the movie. Mm-hmm. Okay. Meaning there will likely be a lot more women talking in Aquaman 2 than we would have seen if this situation had never happened. Oh my god. Oh my god, trying to spin it into a girl power thing. Well, that didn't work. These reveals make it sound like the Aquaman 2 script is still continually shifting and in development. That's interesting since the movie is set to begin filming soon. Jason Momoa recently confirmed that he is scheduled to be on set for production in July 2021. With one month to go. <laughs> Warner Brothers. Oh, okay, okay, get it together. Whew. Warner Brothers is working to get themselves appropriately set up to film the necessary scenes to make the final movie happen. If there's going to give Amber Heard more screen time, they're betting on her not having any more scandals between filming and the late 2022 release of the film. <laughs> oh, God. They, they bet badly. They bet very, very badly. I don't even want to see their socks. <laughs> their socks are probably bad, too, because these people make bad bets. <laughs> They must feel confident that at this point, audiences are really going to move away from demanding her to be replaced. Well, they were wrong. <laughs> Alright, so I want you to remember that right here, right here in this article, two other insiders have supported this claim. Grace Randolph tweeted months ago that the other female characters were meant to draw some attention away from Amber Heard and ensure she had fewer lines in the sequel. Okay, so there's Grace. There's Grace saying, oh no, they're trying to take away her lines, right? Okay, so here we go. So this is current, right? This was like from today. According to film reviewer Grace Randolph, this was solely a technical decision unrelated to the present trial circumstances. <laughs> okay, Grace, I don't know. 
who is hiring you at this point to write anything because <laughs> I mean that this is just embarrassing for you this is just embarrassing for you 11 months ago being like oh yeah they're taking away her lines because of the stuff that's going on at the petition and now not even a year later being like oh no this is so a technical decision like bro like it's very clear that you got paid some money to say that and you have uh, no integrity <laughs> as a journalist. None at all. Okay. But when things escalate, all may change in a flash for the actress. Her involvement may be totally from removed from the film's final version. Now only 10 minutes of screen time from Amber Heard is expected. Hmm. A new rumor claims that Amber Heard's screen time in the Aquaman sequel Aquaman The Last Kingdom is less than 10 minutes. The new rumor comes from scooper and film critic Grace Randolph. <laughs> oh my god, Grace. You can't do this. You can't break a story saying one thing and then 11 months later just completely rich. I bet she deleted that tweet too. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, no one hired Grace. Grace is not an ethical person. She's a flip-flopper. I don't even know her, but it's just like, this is so embarrassing that like from the random articles that I got, I didn't even piece it together till I started reading it on here, honestly. And I'm just like, wow, this is supposed to be about how um, Warner Bro is eating crow, but it's now about how Grace Randolph is eating crow. <laughs> This new rumor comes from scooper and film critic Grace Randall, who shared on Twitter, I hear Amber Heard has less than 10 minutes of screen, screen time in Aquaman 2. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Grace Randolph tweeted months ago that the other female characters were meant to draw some attention away from Amber Heard and ensure she had fewer lines. Yeah, remember? Remember? Yeah, so... Grace Randolph, this was solely a technical decision unrelated to the present trial circumstances. <laughs> Sounds like, yeah, like, no, that's not the. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is great. This is great. This is so embarrassing for Warner Bros. and uh, these, these journalists and Amber Turd. And I had to share this with you guys because I found it very funny and ironic. All right, thank you for watching. Please sub, share, like. Please, thank you. Bye.